Hello dear friends, good morning, such a beautiful, beautiful morning. So it's kind of uh, criminal to stay at home. So I will make myself ready and go out to start my day. The other day I saw on YouTube, uh, 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 on, um, on Yahoo News, they say this cotton tip is is full of dirt and, and that things. I don't know why they say this. Imagine if you do not use this and use your dirty hand or use a piece of uh, other paper, I think to compare the better good, the bigger good. This is, although this is dirty, it's less than, less dirty than other things. So I keep on using this. <laughs> so I have already applied my uh, BB cream kind of foundation and I found this one is very transparent. If not, you can take a look. Put some. Very teeny tiny little bit. Today I do not need to really because I went swimming. I get uh, got rid of. Uh, the excess water retention from my body. Wednesday I start my work late, so so I usually go to swim on Wednesday, which makes me feel very, 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 very good. I think this one is very, very not co covering. Let's take a look. It does not show anything. Maybe. <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe I will use this one. Let me see. They are both quite not covering, but this one a little bit better. They make it not covering must have a particular reason. For example, you have already a very uh, heavy layer of foundation and it's already very cakey and cracking. So if you put another layer of very dusty stuff, maybe that does not work well. Or <clears throat> you just need something to get rid of the grease on your face to make it not too oily and you need something less transparent. Or if you have just a perfect skin, you do not need to cover up anything, which is uh, not the case for me. And we are belonging to the majority of unfortunate people that do not have a perfect skin, which the minority of people who has who have the perfect skin will have hard time to understand us. Anyway. So, I will use some relatively dark color. Shall we try? This is an eyeliner. 
remember the other day I bought it. Let me see if I can look. I think it's not so good. It is too... Oh my god. I do not like it this way. This is not... This is not a brow kit, it's not eyebrow stuff. Since we have some time today, why not experiment something new and different? You are not cute. Take some more time, but uh, not the end of the world. So, we are going to use this new set of stuffs. I think here I need to use light color. I think. So I use this light color. I use this middle one.
Oh, I love this eye. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh you are pretty, this eye. <laughs> C'est pas mauvais, n'est-ce pas? Assez malade. This dark color, not bad at all. I like it. So this becomes the oneness. Et après, et après, et finalement, et après, don't you think, don't you think I'm thinking, da 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 da
think this is a relative. So happy I'm finishing it. Are we videotaping? Yes, I think so. So, if you are an author, a book, to, uh, uh, an author, you're, you must be very good at words, but it ne not necessarily very good at speaking it out because our thinking method or our ability to process our thoughts and our auditory expression are two different things. They are very connected but when you process one ability it does not necessarily sure that you process 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 the other ability and uh, that also combines both of them because not only uh, an author she's also a speaker she writes children's book teenager girls book and she needs to go to schools to talk and her way of expressing is just uh, attracts so much fun and interest. And I think whoever has been in education, whoever has worked with children, has uh, it needs they need to develop a way of talking that is easy, that is simple, that is attractive, that is. Uh, uh, um, attaining and that is that gets immediate attention and and can 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 provoke the thoughts and I just feel she's very good. And then the also the, the illustrator she was kind of shy and her way of talking, yes, I was thinking about the way of talking. Her way of talking is she starts one sentence with strong and then end up very light. And, you know, it's very good and it's very interesting. Yeah, that, that kind of. So it makes me think that um, we are perfect with our own imperfection. And artists, what they need is not a talker. If you are a talker, if you are a speaker, you will spend so much time and energy in expressing your thoughts. And you have much less time. You will have, not much or not, you will have less time in practicing your craft of painting and drawing and the job and the work and the life of an artist. The life of an artist should be lonely, should be should be lonely, should be boring, should be tedious and should be um, not exciting because practicing is a tedious, repetitive, boring, and hard-working job. You need to be comfortable with that kind of life. And then you can deal and you can endure the life of being an artist. You will think if an artist who is good at talking, you doubt if that is an artist who use hands to make a living. So I remember there was one year I went to an art, uh, art teachers, art educators um, uh, seminar and uh, a, a conference and a convention and there was one modern artist did um, um, a talk and uh, I just feel something not right. Because artist, you need to use your hand to work. And it's not so much 
finding the most eloquent way of expressing your idea. The idea is expressed out through your hand, not your mouth. Definitely you will have brilliant words expressing, expressing yourself. But if you make your sense, your sentence and everything just so perfect, so complete, I will start to doubt how much time you put in your crafting, your skill of your hand, of that solitude, a poem, a poet, a poem is an expression of a very deep, profound and uh, torturous and hardship feeling. So a happy person cannot make, cannot be a poem, poet. And I remember there was one time uh, there was um, a Chinese um, got ta talent kind of show and there was one judge he used to be a brilliant brilliant uh, music maker songwriter and uh, and then he got married and he lived a happy life and people asked so <clears throat> how about your new songs he said I have no new songs, maybe because I'm living a happy life. He got married, he got married to one of, uh, one of the performers that went to the, to the judge, to the, went, to the, went to have this show. And um, it was not, uh, that girl didn't get the award, but anyway, they fell in love and they get married and they lived a happy life, have children. And he said, when I was having a life of hardship, of solitude, of loneliness, of, uh, of struggle, I have so much to talk about. I have so much music and the, it just comes out naturally and comes out right. And when I have a happy life, easy life, all those things disappear. We need to have hard life to be a deeper person. So if you are struggling with life, if you are not happy, it's a gift for you to be a deep thinker, to be a poet, to be a songwriter, to be a philosopher. If you have a good life, happy family, beautiful children, happy life, you will end up a shallow person like myself. The curse of happiness, the spell of perfection. So I think I, I bring this topic a little bit too long. So last night I went to the book talk, come back to the story. I went to the book talk and I was late because I have children. I need to do errands with my children to other place. And I arrived late and this talk is about pause. So I think she stopped her, her job in a very high career and stopped for three months and refinding herself the importance and the power of just stop and start something new. And now she's a coach and um, development coach or personal uh, improvement coach. So I was late. I missed, some, missed the, the beginning part. And then I was thinking what I was doing. I want to be, I want to have too much. The problem is I want to have everything. 
I want to be a good mom, good parent, to help my own children. I want to develop myself to go to book talk and uh, I want to do this and that. Too many things. It's beyond my ability. Then I cannot do things, everything right. There must be something that you will be missing. So I missed that, but I learned one thing. If I do not miss that talk, maybe I will never realize. So that is the promise of mistake, the curse, the spell of perfection, of uh, well done, and the promise of mistake, the promise of failing, of a failure. The promise of failure is I realize what is important for me. Everyone is different. There are people who can multitask and do everything perfect and who can deal with that sorrowness, something does not work perfect. And for some people, they would like things to be right from the beginning. I make myself a promise. If I am late for something, I need to say no to that particular thing. Maybe it does not worth it. Maybe it does not worth it to listen to only to the end of some event and missing the big part. Maybe it worth it. You just need to accept the consequence and make the right decision. And you need to make a decision to say no to too many temptations the temptation of good food, the temptation of good clothes, the temptation of a good lecture, the temptation of a good cultural activity, the temptation of a big, beautiful art examination, whichever it be, because we get pleasure from different kind of things and everyone is different. And we need to draw a line, what is still good to us. Too many good things is as bad as too many bad things. Too many bad things is as good as too many good things. You need to draw a line. What is my ability? What is my capacity? Everything within my capacity, I can digest, I can swallow, I can nourish myself and make the best of it, optimize my life. That is right. Everything that is anything that is beyond my capacity, say no. Anything beyond your capacity, say no. It's a good meal but you are already full, say no to it. It's the most beautiful, cheapest, best sale, clothes, but you will not need it. And you do not want to stuff your closet with one more piece of things, say no to it. And if this is uh, the most fascinating lecture and you are in front of a middle, examination, final examination, you are in front of uh, just the deadline of a huge project. Say no to it. You know what I mean. You know what I want you to do. No, I do not want you to do anything. You know what you want to do. You know what is right for you, yourself. Take care of yourself.
So last night, this lady was talking and take care of ourself. So the first thing you connect, what is taking care of yourself? Maybe a spa, maybe a, a doing a nail. I felt very foreign, this concept. And uh, going to spa, it must be a very much a suffering, at least in my thought, it's a suffering. Going to a, a nail salon, I felt very, very odd uncomfortable and uh, the most uncomfortable thing I see I just make my my stomach sick from the bottom of my stomach is when I walk along the, the downtown streets whichever downtown street and I see one lady sitting high and another lady cleaning the nail and uh, uh, not nail the toes the toes and with uh, I just feel so 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 sick to my stomach and I cannot understand that kind of feeling maybe because I am from my background that money is not everything there is nothing no way you can put these two person in the same equal moral human stand in my point but in this society with that amount of money everything can be put into the same level that's a deeper question i cannot talk too much and i do not have the capacity to talk too much but um, what is your way of taking of yourself No matter right or wrong, only you yourself knows. Only you yourself know if it is right or wrong, if it fits to your moral standard or not. I love you, I really do. I wish you a happy, happy, Happy pee 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 every day. Do I look good? <laughs>